Something I've thought about a lot, this sort of almost postmodern scattershot that's going on at the moment where somebody likes something and they'll find the other person mm. on the other side of the world that likes it too. And it's liberating, but, but you're right, a lot's lost. And I suppose a lot of the historical aspects of things that I study, things like manuscripts and, and these things that these documents that last for a thousand years, we're losing, we're well, losing a lot of legacy. We, we are. I mean, the, in, in purely practical terms, the paper trail, mm. Andrew Pixley, who is the, the Doctor Who archivist, there's and a Doctor Who archivist. Oh, yeah. A wise man once That's said... That's a job title. He's not, he's not, he's unofficial, but a wise man once said if Andrew Pixley did not exist, it would be necessary for man to invent him. <laughs> uh, Andrew is dedicated, he's amazing, he spent his entire life and he covers things in the most incredible detail. Oh but he says that it's increasingly hard because there aren't the memos, there are emails and people don't share them or they get lost. And the, One of the things that, one of the films that I've always loved and has always stuck with me is the original version of The Time Machine, mm. the George Powell version, which I adore. And I've always wanted that machine more than anything in the Wasn't world. Wasn't that in an episode of mm. uh, Big Bang? They got that in an episode of The Big Bang. I'm sorry. What? So you can't have it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It was so Big Bang. I'll, I'll I've only imagined it then. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, and it's a charming film, again, a charming mm. film. So much charm. Um, uh, but there's a, there's a very, very revealing bit when he... Rod Taylor goes into the far future and he meets the Eloi, who are the beautiful but st stupid people who are being fed on by the Morlocks below. And he says, don't you have books? And the blonde boy says, yeah, we have books. And he <laughs> takes him to this library and he says, I think he says something like, I think they'll tell you everything about us. And he touches the books and they just crumble away. And, oh, he, and he says, That's, yes, he does, it tells me everything. Um, and, my, I, I, you know, again, without sounding like some old Jeremiah, um, it, I worry about things going, and, and particularly about the way that things aren't checked. I do, I do think, I predict, <laughs> there will be men on Mars by 1970. Yeah, um, a little bit out. I, uh, I, I, I think that what will do for us in the end is, is some terrible thing going around the world in seconds which no one has bothered to check. Mm. Mm. There'll, be a, there'll be a faked image of, of some nuclear devastation and someone will press a button and it won't be true. Don't. It'll have just been made up. And Who else got goosebumps? Because <laughs> I did. And, I, that's uh, so, so plausible. Because, you know, there's, there's so much to be said for the, the news bulletin. The bulletin at 9 or 10... I sound like my dad. Um, <laughs> Was, was, was a bulletin because it was checked. Mm. They checked their facts, they wrote it down, they checked it, they spoke to these people, they had some footage, and then the news was given to you. In, an, in a culture of rolling news, it's, we are creating the news because we have to have something to fill the gap. Mm. And it has massive, massive repercussions. It probably swung the 2000 election for George Bush because they reported too early. Uh, you, you can I can just only imagine it gets worse. And I've said this before, there was, a, there's a, there was a clip Charlie Brooker showed on ScreenWipe a few years ago of, um, of a Sky News reporter suddenly breaking off with some, some um, rolling news. And she said, we're just, we're just getting reports that the, 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 play, the, playwright, the playwriting, the playwright, the, play, the playwright Henry Porter, he, Harold, Harold Pinter, has died has won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> and you just, you know, you can imagine Lady oh Antonia Fraser God. driving off the motorway. Yeah. But the, it's what, why, you know, who cares? And you, I know anecdotally you hear from newsrooms that if it wasn't for the BBC, there's virtually no one left to check. They just, they just, they harvest their information from Twitter. They harvest it from all these online sources and nobody's bloody checking anything. And it's, genuinely dangerous. 